Hi, I'm Paris, and it was exciting the other morning when my daughter was shouting, the shower's flooding. She's trying to get ready for school. The water is filling up because the drain is plugged with hair, as happens every few months. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be great if there were some preventative way to grab the hair before it actually clogs up the pipe? I saw over at my local Walgreens the drain wig that claims to do just that. Epic review guys. The As Seen on TV drain wig goes for about $10, and there are two of these devices in the package, so if you have two showers in your house, you can put them both in at the same time. Now this will not work to clear out a drain that is currently clogged. They mentioned on the back, it's too late if it's already clogged up with hair to use this. You have to clean it out first. This will keep it from getting clogged up the next time. Now I had thought this plastic piece that looks like a flower that's going to sit on top of the metal grill you have uh, in the drain, I thought that's where the hair got collected so it was easy to pull out um, weekly, monthly, before it got down into the pipe. But no, they explain that this chain that goes through it with a couple little um, Barbie sections, that's where the hair gets caught. I guess the idea is long hair, which I don't know much about, actually will loop around the uh, little things that look like ball bearings in the chain. They loop through that and get stuck on there. And of course, once you have a few hairs stuck, that's what starts the clog because the other hair will glom onto that. So the idea is that this will collect the hair for, they say, two to four months and then you can throw it away, they make a big deal about this, without touching it because it's icky. And hair clogs and drains are unpleasant. It's mostly hair, but there's other stuff in there, slimy stuff of unknown origin. And so if you're really squeamish about it, this will let you pull this out with the chain with the attached hair. So long as you do it before it gets to be too much of a huge clump, you can pull it out and just drop this in the trash. So this is considered to be disposable. Go out and buy another set of these and in two to four months put them in. If you do that on an ongoing basis, the hair won't accumulate to the point of blocking your drain and you'll never have to touch it. Once you've raised kids, I think you become sort of immune to yuckiness and all the diapers you've changed, you've been thrown up on, all the stuff that happens, cleaning up wounds and injuries. So once I can get a clump of that hair knot up out of the drain, I just grab it and pull and get it over with. But if you're squeamish, this would be ideal. And my thinking is if this can prevent the hair from completely plugging up the pipe so you have that emergency middle of showering, oh no, the shower's flooding, you don't have to worry about that. The instructions state again that this will not clear out an existing clog. You've got to clean that one out and get your hands dirty before you can start using this. Here's what's protecting them. This is made of plastic. Looks cute, I guess, when it's in your bathtub and shower. And then the chain with a little... I, I thought it was barb, but actually it's very soft and bendable. I guess that's so it can fit through the drain. But I was thinking this was gonna, like going to hook the hair. And you can see there are a number of those. The length of the chain. Here's what awaited me the other morning, what I managed to pull out of the drain. That is a heck of a lot of hair. And since you do have to clean your drain out before you can use the drain wig, this is what I like to use. It's simply a piece of plastic with barbs on it that you slide down as far as you can into the drain. There's a little hole there for your thumb or finger and then you pull it back out and something yucky like this will usually follow. The zip it is um, about three dollars and you can find it at usually Home Depot or Lowe's but I'll put a link to it down below this video in case you can't find it there. The way the drain wig works once you have the pipe cleaned out is you have to start at the small end and feed that through the grill and the plastic pieces, the rubber pieces, you'll squeeze them or twist them, get them to go down in there as well. Seems like I'm accumulating an awful lot of chain in here. I wonder if that's going to plug up the water. Okay. Let's see what happens when I turn the water on, if it will actually flow. I think what's going to happen is the water will tend to carry that chain down the pipe and um, then it'll be in position to catch the hair. Seems to be 
draining a little slowly. I can still see a whole bunch of the chain right underneath the grill. Like it didn't get washed down the pipe the way I was expecting it to. Maybe it's better to insert the chain with the water running and it'll carry it along because I think I've just got a big knot. <laughs> I've got a big knot of chain in there right now. Let me try to pull it out and see. Okay. Oh, I see. That's why it got stuck. It actually does need to go through there. Well, this would make more sense then. I mean, unless you're super squeamish, feed it through this and then pop, pop the grill part off. Then get to work on this part. Make sure, assuming you have this cross piece in your drain. Oh, we're going to have to poke everything. Okay, I think that's good. Pop this back on. So, let's see how fast the drain is now. Well, that's better. Maybe not quite as fast as if nothing were there, but if you have a low flow shower head, I think it won't back up. Doesn't seem to be knotted up anymore. Also, if you don't have that grill on the drain, I wonder if it will work, if this flower will stay above the standard um, drain opening. I'm getting better at doing this. Okay. With the water. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Well, we're probably about a month out from having an update on how the drain wig does for catching here, but as soon as we have something hanging on it, I will do a follow-up video and report that back to you. But if you know you really are squeamish about touching those hair clogs and having to clean that out, you might want to try it just as a preventative. Again, it goes for about $10 for two, and there's a link to it down below this video. You can keep checking back for our future videos. You can keep checking back to see what happened with the drain wig, or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.